Happy New Year, everyone. It's me, Desi. Hey, guys. So welcome. Here I am back and into gardening and shopping. And I wanted to let you guys know what is available. So here in Maryland, we have some bare root hydrangeas, some bulbs, begonias, uh, Asiatic lilies, and we have some bare root roses. So this was about a week or two ago. And... um. I just wanted to give you guys the heads up. So I was able to purchase uh, a bare root. And I thought this was a good price because it was two bare roots for $16. And, um, you know, one sometimes can go for like $24 alone. So I got two Mr. Lincoln. And I picked up a bare root uh, hydrangea, Nico Blue. And they have some tulips available. So um, if... You know, you miss out. You can always wait until the end of the season when um, these bulbs have to be um, discounted and put on clearance. So I also stopped by Home Depot just to see what kind of fruit trees they had. And they do have some, but they are standards. So you can see that these standards are huge as well as um, there were a few dwarfs. So, um... Another thing is in Maryland, we do have cicadas, so I'm not sure if it's going to be um, a problem for the young trees, but I think it is because the cicadas do kind of um, lay their eggs in crevices, and that can be a harm for the new fruit trees. So I think I'm going to wait until the cicadas are gone, maybe around August, to see if there might be some fruit trees available. Maybe um, I'm looking for a dwarf one. But um, in Maryland, we have to be uh, mindful of the cicadas and our plants.
Hey guys, I am at Home Depot and they have bulbs. So I'm looking at these nice dahlias, but I don't see any um, dinner plate, but it does say huge blooms if I read carefully. But this is pretty. And then they have lavender. And hosta, fuchsia, gladiolus. I have some gladiolus. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, oh. These are their roots. Oh my god. I came at the right time. I definitely want to get these fruits. I definitely want to. And then they have some onions, potatoes. Oh my goodness. Whoa! Peony mixes. Wow, and there's five bulbs. What a beauty. And here are some more dahlias. Whoa, this is amazing. I'm so glad I came. So, yeah. I also saw some fruit trees. But they're like 50 something dollars. So I might wait a little bit. But I'm so glad I see this over here. Because I want to get raspberry. Anywho, I'll see you guys later. I might go a little bit crazy because they're nine dollars they're bare root just gotta pick the right one so you guys i picked up two of the mr lincoln right here and i believe this was maybe um two weeks ago or so i think it's two weeks ago um, actually February 23rd so um, this is what the box has on the outside on the side it has lots of information um, I didn't even know like this kind of information so I'm glad that this was available and I can like do some more research and then this is what the Nico blue looks like and it is growing really really fast I can't believe how much new growth i have on this plant already so this also has lots of information and um i think this is great for people who are new to planting so they can learn how to take care of the hydrangea and the um roses so i am going to be trying to pot this up and this is what it looks like now as you guys can see there's a lot of new growth and um just stop by at your stores see what they have and just try to get your list together if you miss out don't worry because um at the end of the season usually they have to get rid of the plants so sometimes they're marked down to 50 percent off or more so just keep that in mind i decided to get some biotone starter fertilizer because i heard some great things about this and i do have some plants that i will have to put in the ground then I picked up some vermicolite, um, mostly for doing the seeds and, you know, keeping the moisture there. And I heard that this helps with um, dampening off. So this is really good. I'm not going to be using this to improve my clay. Um, I saw some reviews that it's not good for clay. So for my clay, I will be using compost and maybe some hummus so i went to the dollar store and i don't know why i picked this up but i picked it up i picked up potting soil because i do have four peonies three hostas and i believe six daylilies so i have a lot and i have a lot of compost 
So I'm trying to like mix up some of the compost with the some of this. But um, the only thing that I really want to pot up, well, nothing really right now, because the peonies are perennials; they can withstand the cold. So is the hosta is a perennial. The only thing that I can't really, I don't want to like open up and take it out of dormancy is the dahlias because the temperatures are still cold. But here at the dollar store, I found gladiolas. These are for a dollar. And I got 24. 24 got three packs of the pink ones and I have three packs of the yellow ones and I also picked up two packs of these houseplant fertilizer spikes I don't think I will be putting this in the house plants I think I will mostly put this in like outside because it is a 13 4 5 and I think 13 might be too strong for the house plants. Maybe I could like break it in half but it's a dollar so you can't go wrong with these. And last but not least I just got some trays, plastic trays um, to put on the front. So that's what I have. And I'll go and show you what I have outside. There is everything so far. Blooming. The hostas are growing. The roses. And I potted up the pansy. I put it right there. Put four of them in a pot. And here's some broccoli that I got. Peony sticking through. The lavenders have flowers on them, some marigolds that I'm growing already, and the forsythia is budding up. And my pansies are growing. And the daffodils. So everything is coming for spring.